What's up guys, Luke's in here. Today I'm going to show you how to install Pokemobs for any Minecraft version. Um, you're going to need a few things for this uh, mod. Uh, number one, you're going to need the mod itself, which you can go to the link in the description. It's going to bring you to this website um, where it gives a little information of it and also gives the download to the latest version. So you want to make sure you get the latest version for whatever Minecraft version you're running on. If you're on 1.8, get to 1.8. If you're on 1.7, get to 1.7, and so on. Um, once you do that, you can close out of this, and you're going to have a file called Pokemobs v0.1.5. And the second thing you're going to need is an RAR file manager. I have one called Subzip. You can also use one called Winra. And the third and final thing you're going to need is mod loader and audio mod installed on your minecraft.jar if you don't know how to do this you can go on my channel and i have another tutorial on how to install both these mods and once you have all those three things you just want to click start and type in percent app data percent just like that hit enter it's going to bring you to your roaming folder when you're in your roaming folder you want to go to minecraft then you want to go to bin and then you can right click on minecraft and go to 7zip and go to open archive we can just drag this to the left. If you haven't done so already, there should be a folder called Meta Inf. You should have already deleted it because you have Mod Loader and Audio Mod installed. But if you didn't, make sure to delete it now. Now go to Pokemobs and right click 7zip Open Archive. And then you want to go to everything in this goes to your jar. You want to highlight all these class files and just drag and drop over here. Then just hit yes. Now you can go back to your regular Minecraft and go back here. And where it says resources, you just drag and drop in the middle here. And it's going to ask you if you want to merge these. Hit yes. Now you can close out everything and open Minecraft. And the mod should be fully functional and be working if you have the latest download version and you follow this tutorial um, step by step. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't done so, I would really appreciate it if you could thumbs up and favor this video and subscribe to my channel because it helps spread the video to other people and subscribe and subscribing to my channel helps notify you when I upload my next video. I do upload daily videos, so make sure to click that subscribe button. And um, other than that, if you haven't done so already, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you're having any trouble, post it in the comments. But please don't just post this mod isn't working because it does work, and I know it does because I've tested it beforehand. Please post the exact problem you're having um, trouble with so that I actually can help you. I can't help you if you just post didn't work. Um, but other than that, I do hope you enjoyed and I hope you have some fun with this mod, and I want to thank you for watching. Bye.